University says there are no plans to bring police in to clear out the pro-Palestinian encampment, but a university spokesperson says there are ongoing talks with student demonstrators who've been protesting the ongoing conflict for more than a week. There's only about two weeks till commencement, but these protesters say they're not leaving until their demands are met. <laughs> Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar joined the student protesters with her daughter on Thursday. She told our Fox affiliate all Jewish students should be protected regardless of whether they're pro-genocide or anti-genocide. Jewish students say they're hurt that no one talks about the Israeli hostages remaining in Gaza. I don't have words to, to, to people who, who say such things. You know, you can't deny what happened. You can't deny that people suffered. You can't mm -hmm. deny that our families was there. You can't deny that our friends and families are still fighting to end this war, to, 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 to the fighting against the terror organization, the fighting to bring the hostages. It's really concerning. Meanwhile, the University of Southern California canceling its main commencement ceremony over the anti-Israel protest erupting on campus. The school putting out a statement saying, with the new safety measures in place this year, the time needed to process the large number of guests coming to campus will increase substantially. We will not be able to host the main stage ceremony that traditionally brings 65,000 students, families, and friends to our campus all at the same time. More than 700 people have been arrested on college campuses across the country this week alone. In New York, CB Cotton, Fox News.